All right, what's up? Here is how to use remote desktop in Windows. A lot of people don't know this, but Windows has had a feature for a long, long time that allows you to remotely access other computers on your network. You don't need a server or anything special. It's really easy. Um, and you may not use it, but it's kind of a cool thing to do. I actually use it at home once in a while. So here's what you have to do. If you want to remote into a computer, that computer has to allow it. And here's how you do that. Come down to your Windows icon, right click, and then come up to System. It looks just like this on Windows 7 and 8. Click right here on Remote Settings. This is where you enable it. You see on this computer, it's not enabled. It says don't allow remote connections to this computer. Okay, you can't remote into this computer. You got to enable this. Now at home, and actually a lot of places, I don't check this box too. If you check this box, the only people that can remote in are people listed in here. But I'm not really interested in that. I still like that. Now, let's say you wanted to remote into this computer. You have to go to the other computer you want to remote in from. And you have to open up Remote Desktop. And you have to spell it right. Right there, remote desktop connection. It's gonna look like this. All you have to do is enter the name of the computer or the IP address. Let me show you how you find the name of a computer. Come back to Windows, right click, system. You recognize this screen, we were just there. See right here, it says computer name. That's the name of the computer, okay? Finding the IP address. We'll do that in another video. Punch it in right here, click connect. Uh, I believe you will have to log in with an account, a username and, a, and password. So you're gonna have to have that on hand. You may also get a couple other screens that ask you, like if you do want to proceed, just say yes or check the box that says don't ask me again. And then you can remote in. If you click down here at show options, you can change settings like experience. This is a good one. If it's really slow, your remote in is really slow, lower the quality. You can choose different qualities here. That makes a big difference. But that's how you do it. That's how you remote in. Really cool feature um, built into Windows, easy to use, and that's how you do it.